Let's see if the crystal ball has been polished and if the magic is there. As the band start to come through, Cafe's gone. Concert's out of the way. There goes Clubhouse. Where are we rolling with this? What's the first pick going to be? Is Oregon. We do have an Oregon to open us up. Coastline finally getting taken out. I thought he was going to sneak in. But we've got an Oregon theme park, Tim. Yeah. Interesting combination of bands there, really, for MIBR. Sledging Jaeger. So you've taken the nades out. You've taken the Jaeger out. That makes sense. The attempt Jaeger... to keep himself alive. But this could get very messy very soon. Souls finds the first as he'll reap his way through falls, shutting them down and quelling the push for now, but I don't think they're going to give up that easily. A little bit of contact there between M-King and one of the Team 1 attackers. I can't say. I think it was the Nomad there it is. So that's Philippox coming together. He's going to get challenged by two at once. It's the honor of Lukid who moves in and gets the kill there. So that now leaves us four versus three. We did lose Reduct along the way. I'm not sure if that was directly to the turret or not. I didn't see the kill feed, unfortunately, but... Lukid gets himself a second on the round and opens things up three versus three. But with the Pillars players still in place, it makes it reasonably easy to shut down the freezer. And that is exactly what they're doing, putting Team 1 on ice at this point. Raps, he runs out of time. Bombs are protected by MIBR. An awful lot of progress here. There's no sort of control over, or meaningful control over Armoury as it stands. We're going to... Take out the cams there. Now moving in. Kills raining down for MIBR. Not too much of a surprise because Team 1 just trying to sort of push it. Doesn't feel like with significant map possession. But they have managed to get themselves Attic and the Dorms now. Two versus two. Diffuser is successfully planted. So we find ourselves now 40 seconds left for the defenders to work on this retake. That's a great opener from Souls onto Falls. That now leaves us in a two versus one. However, oh! will be shut down in a quick double from Redux. Onto Bullet as well. Well, push into site, clear out the couple of defenders that are lodged in meeting and get the diffuser down. It's not something this time oh that my. Team 1 are going for, but they're going with a big double reduct opening things up with a kill onto Souls. Don't think he's aware the plant is going down. He can't see, tries to make the shots, just can't see the angle. A little bit of damage done, but not quite a frag. Luckily, when he does want to aggress, this man does damage. Issue is the overconfidence and the ferocity fuels him to charge in. Gets caught with his pants around his ankles, gunned down by the Nomad, prepared to try and slay. This could be the answer to a successful defence. I don't think that Team 1 are aware whatsoever. He goes in and gets the first onto Falls. Is there a second for him? M-King has been down, will be finished off by Raps. Leaves us two versus two. Time is ticking down though. Ten oh seconds, my. we can see Cyber taking Redux. One versus one now. It's all down to Cameraman as Raps manages to get the direct trade on to Cyber. So now one versus one. Raps has no option but to get this defuse down does he know him he finds him he'll come off he'll avoid the death you peek out through that open doorway instantly you're running into cyber he's holding the angle that's a free frag then they should be able to trade redux taking more damage as well as he appears to be a magnet for bullets and issue is tim there's the peek from cyber wants the double kill but can't quite snatch it won't matter though as ayana is a goner will be dropped the end by bullet and that's the way mibr break their streak of losing out on the site finally come through you can see the adjustment with the outline there as they start to move into better angles to attempt to fight back it's souls the grim reaper himself now if there's anything we know about this man it's that he is the human siphon definitely a harbinger of death he can bring domination into a round and that's just what he's doing as he'll dash down two of them leaving it all on falls now the smoke that's had all of his teammates smoked in front of him. If he's not handy with the steel into this round, then it will quickly go down to him being dead as a doorknob. At this point, though, he is fighting back. They were low as well. It wouldn't have taken much to actually get himself potentially into a winnable position. But being that outnumbered, we see the one-for-one -one fights coming through. They're just looking to try and get picks back in their favor. And I don't know if it's going to be possible. There should be a rapid trade coming in. Good discipline there. You love to see it. Smart stuff from Fools with a shotty. Knew it was the bait play going down with the Ayana. So MIBR just... coming in and taking that first round on the strongest site away from them immediately is a huge coup. If they can continue to do that, then we are in unprecedented territory. But right now, Team 1 are stepping up and they're starting to show us more of the team that we would expect them to be. Kills rain in for them and they manage to close out round number 8. Oh no, M King. He's trying to make it much cheaper for Fools to buy shoes. And as he falls down to the ground, losing his right foot and then his life, it certainly will be cheaper for him going yeah, forward. Pushing back out towards the site though. Lukin chimes in with the orc, takes down a first. 
Reduck cutting through them with the UMP. Not content with just one Tim, doubles down for a second and then turns it into a hat trick. It certainly he... seems like maybe he is in that river. He's in the rapids, Tim. He doesn't have his life vest and he's not going to be able to stay afloat. And we can see now, out come the flashbangs, out comes the challenge. Cameraman rips the head off, falls. And that brings us to five versus four. Great opening kill. Can he find himself a second? Team one can fight back and they have those moments of magic. So let's just hope that those ones haven't run out of magic at this point. The push is coming in and the wizards for team one are certainly being put in their place, Tim. They're down to just a three versus five at this point. But look at the health on MIBR. Two of them are low, but now it's just down to two alive. Full stop here for Team 1. With 25 seconds left to stay alive and try and shut this round down to best MIBR, it needs to be clinical from this point forward. But it's just getting messier and messier. Blood all over the shop. As Reduck goes down, it's up to Lucas to trade it back and go off on an absolute rampage in the 1v5. Good positional play but he can't punish when it comes to his prowess. Couldn't clean up on the shots. Bullet will snatch that one away, Tim. And you know what that means. They've got the round. They've got the guaranteed draw. Well, I imagine it will probably happen relatively soon as Philippe Ox turns the corner. He's actually allowed to peek back in, Tim. He's baited them. They used the impact nades in the downtime to try and open up the wall so they could clear him out. This is going to be a spicy one. Pressure being applied from Attic now. Shots will rain into the docks here. Cyber finishes falls off and he's just looking to aggress potentially towards Dorms as well, but he's going to be shut off for the time being by that toxic babe canister. Lukid is going to take big damage on the peak there. He needs to be careful. He needs to use that deployable shield. Out goes another toxic babe canister, but that is all now for Raps. He cannot deny any more time. He cannot deny any more entry coming through from MIBR and the pressure. It's going to mount swiftly here. Raps gets a kill onto Bullet. That could be huge. Nine seconds left to go. Right now, MIBR need to make a move and they need to make it decisive. Cyber has Diffuser in hand. Does he opt to put it on the ground? Cameraman will lose his life and that is going to be the round as Cyber has no option to put that one down. Team 1 fight their way through to a draw and that really did come down to the final 10 seconds. 2 versus 2 and we had no idea where that one was going. Mate, that entire game was absolutely ridiculous from the start we had. Not too outrageous, not too ridiculous. Definitely a little bit more tame. It didn't quite work out, but it's done a lot of damage, and that Thermite's going to have to be very careful now. How about that for disgusting? Falls just giving it the old snaky snake, the old prone crawl across there, and manages to get himself the opener. Bullet, however, will trade him back out, and that leaves us now in a three versus three as kills raining on both sides of the match here. Ooh, and talking about snakes, this one is certainly slivery and slippery with the way it's going. At this point, we're down to a one versus one to get the diffuser down as he will initiate the plant. Philippe Ox is going to peek. No, he won't. He's not going to go for it. He could have wide swung and taken him down. Actually bides his time for a little bit longer. Eventually then peeks in. Didn't bait him off the diffuser, but it won't matter as he's still going to be a loser because he's left with a bullet through the brain and the alibi is the one with the round. And then depending on the results of that playoff, the top four overall would go through to the mid event which would be a LAN event but given the current situation we've had to uh, scrap that unfortunately for this stage and we've gone to regional mini majors and that is what the top four are fighting for here but Ooh. fighting hard right now a team one coming out with an absolute tirade of kills there in the first 30 seconds of the round we can see cameraman he's challenging hard on the Amaru he's going to get the first kill onto Philippe Ox leaving himself one versus so two camp. he's just got to wait that out and it will leave him with such a little amount of time a minute amount he's got to push in cross fire is held they know the fuse is there easy spam just a pre-fire from falls that's all it was and they clean up played really smartly from the defenders there was no reason to play it any other way five versus three now coming into the last 30 seconds for leapox and reduct Ooh. however level things up in quick fashion bullet will trade reduct out but that leaves us 25 seconds diffuser going down it's essential that souls makes this one stick bullet gets the kill and souls does exactly that now three versus one round shut down by souls MIBR get their first round on the board here, and I honestly believe that they need another two to follow. Done. Open up the two walls, one in office, one in initiation, and just try to get some picks and aggress onto site towards that default spot. Lucid and Falls, however, getting the opening two kills. Cyber will manage to get one back for himself before being shut down four versus one, and this is all going in Team One's direction here. MIBR have lost their traction, and they are about to lose this round. As we can see, the Clash just looking to move out, switch to Pistol, and get a kill, but it will be meaningless for Souls to shut down the Clash. A lot of indecision coming in from MIBR.
IBR there, but Emkin gets himself into a good position and will start putting that diffuser down. Looks like he will likely be successful in doing so. And Team 1, I think that's a little bit of a misstep from them. They've pretty much allowed that diffuser to go down, and now they're challenging back into tough angles. Bullet just shutting down wraps on a real long Granger Ooh. with the ACOG there. How about that from Luke it, though? Pretty... Only seven seconds left for him to survive. He can't lose his life here. He just needs to keep himself active and peeking. Two seconds to go. Luke it. Ring around the roses, won't get the kill in time. M King shuts him down. Big round for MIBR. Building easily. Here comes the first challenge, and that is that sloppy from Falls. That's not what we've seen from him so far. How about that from Cyber? Just locks himself in position afterwards so as not to reveal himself on the lion scan. And that is going to be a big blow now because that is the hard breach gone. They still have the Maverick. Cyber's just been able to abuse him and then stay alive as well. And of course, not be revealed because of it after just slowing down the tempo afterwards. And this puts them into a bit of a downward spiral. It will certainly mean they're easier to finish off. Luckily enough though, this man is armed with a Vector and he's getting vicious. As He'll slice his way through bullet, dropping us back down into a 2v2. Oh, the peak from M King, lurking up on the elevated angle, looking to try and be a bit of a stairwell stunner, but he can't get the elbow drop off. And when they do push towards the site, they really are going to drop off. M King will get the final shot onto the backstab on Raps. That's the way it will go, as the Australian All Star will punish the shut it down. The cameraman's come out swinging as he dashes his way through the first man, taking him down. And this pain train will not be slowing down either. They can try and derail it, but it keeps on chugging along you've got a dog i believe he's used all of his stims now topping them back up to the actual positions they are in and we get the peak coming around from Felipox on the vector just beheads his way through bullet as he'll best him there on the early encounter in the gunfight actually two stims remaining but now there's none as the dot gets out scalpeled as well by the scientist of Felipox that's just really being a bit of a, pre a professor he just keeps delivering he really is like a postman here cyber will shut him down though one versus two now for redux but time is starting to become on his side can he get the first he sees the man he will one versus one can he get the second he knows where he is he looks to peek the corridor this is just a deadly game of ring around the roses the man has gone prone will he get the kill no get shut down by cyber mibr coming out with round eight and we are four apiece and honestly jackie this one this one's going all the way use of the lion coming back out again as well to try and slow them down philippe ox peeking off the early contact that puts him onto 13 frags so far here on theme park tim the man has been absolutely fragging his heart out and it doesn't seem like he wants to slow down or dive off towards the end of the series the fuse are starting to go down as falls will get that one chucked onto the floor again they stop everyone and well, the push from MIBR, buying them enough time to get the diffuser down before the first contact comes around. In terms of response, though, it's Philippe Pox that's actually being able to punish them, bringing it back down into a two versus two. Cameraman, can he clean up? Gets the shot off, but he doesn't kill. Doesn't capitalize on it. I believe he thought he'd actually got him down, but instead, Felix falls into him. He cleans up on a Fermite, drops it down into a one versus two, just with the dot. Although this man might be good at saving lives, I don't think he can save the round, Tim, as he's being pushed from two different angles at once and he's going to hit the D-E-C-K. That's the way the round's going to go as Team 1 will snatch it and secure an advantage. Position that I'm sure MIBR will drastically want to avoid and that is going to help them start to. Bullet gets a kill onto Luke Kid, and that is the Ash off the board. Gets a second. Bullet going big here. Gets the kill onto Falls. Now five versus three. MIBR are doing very well so far. That is the start that they needed. They're trying to. They want to contend. They get the shots off onto Bullet, but it won't matter. As he responds somehow, being able to punish and at least dropping them down to the ground. Someone needs to go on a recovery mission to get Philippox back up. And I don't think that's a viable option now comes down to a one versus three for redux on the nomad he's got the ak but can he slay from far away shots raining in from behind cleans up on the entry as he'll be able to throw the clip in and decimate against souls on the early peak a suspicion of the second he baits out the shots as he jiggles through the doorway and actually he's still alive he's in it to win it to him and there's certainly a possibility of that happening but he misses out as he peeks round. Starts to potentially circumvent those defences, and I don't think that MIBR were aware of his presence. Philippox shuts down Bullet. Big opening kill for Team 1. Gets oh. a second. Who else but Philippox onto M King? Coming through and looking to take this one by the scruff of the neck for Team 1. He's looking to drag them over the line and secure a point. There's a third on the round. He couldn't possibly do it, could he? He couldn't possibly come through with a big ace. Two versus four on a retake.
this is no easy task. Falls will get Cyber. That will be no ace for Philippox, but still a great round as Lukid shuts it out. And that's going to be Team 1 securing the draw. 24 rounds, and we cannot find a winner here. What on earth? The shots that man was hitting there to at least bring it back to be a draw. Tim, the double draw. And by the way, I, I just want everyone to take a minute and blask in this screen.